Hi guys, it's Hef. I am back again. And this is going to be an introduction for a new project. Uh, Zelma, who I will leave link down below, of course, came up with this idea. She's called it the Book Smarts Project. It's basically a project roulette, but it is a book related one rather than a makeup related one like I normally do. But I thought it was a really, really good idea. She has a list of 100 topics, themes, ideas for books to pick from your collection. Um, and we're starting with five books um, a month. Obviously, I'm starting this in February, so not quite as many months. Um, so what I did is I used a random number generator that I have on my phone and I picked um, five numbers from a hundred. Um, the random number generator that I actually have um, I'll show it to you um, has the has the option of um, picking X number of numbers and you can actually make it remove certain numbers if you've already used them which I think is really really cool which is why I use it. Um, I don't have the list in front of me of the different topics um, but I will leave them all in the description bar below when I upload this video. Um, so yeah, Zelma was calling for anybody who wanted to join in to join in and I thought it sounded like a great project and I really want to read more. Um, now of the first four books I picked, four of them are actually on my uh, Kindle app on my phone. Uh, so I have, I have Amazon. Whoops, wrong one. Um, I have Amazon Kindle on my phone. So four of the books that I picked are actually on there. I will insert pictures of the cover of the books as I go through. So just to make it so you can see which books I'm talking about. Um, and they were all uh, either free downloads or like less than a dollar kind of downloads. I like free downloads. <laughs> so let's get into the five books I have for February. Uh, at the end of February or the start of March I'll come back, I will update this um, and any books that are finished I will pick a new book four. If I finish well before the end of the month or five books then I will do an update sooner and put in five new books. Um, it will just depend on how much reading I do. Um, not expecting to get through the full list of 100 um, options by the end of the year but you know at least a couple a month would be good. So the first number I picked is number 33, which was a book that is more than 100 years old. This is the only book that is uh, an actual copy of a book. And that is Just So Stories by Rudyard Kipling. These have been continually in print since 1902. So they're well over 100 years old. Um, there's a whole bunch of uh, short stories in this, which is good if you just want... Um, something quick to read. Uh, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, plus two extra stories. So I thought that was good if I just wanted something like quick to read. Um, and it's been a long time since I've read any of these. But it's things like how the camel gets its hump and the whale gets its throat and the leopard gets his spots. Those those kind of things, so I thought that, was that would be a fun one to read. So the second number I picked is 95, which is a book with a shifter. If you don't know what a shifter is, it means a character that exists in more than one form. So a werewolf is an example of a shifter, and someone who is not just, they can appear human or they can appear to be a werewolf. Um, a lot of shifter books are romance, type books. Some of them are pretty full-on hardcore. Um, <laughs> the book that I have picked for that is called Soulmate by Anna Santos. We'll insert the picture. 
Uh, one of my friends in the book hoarders group actually mentioned that this was free, which is the only reason I have for this book, because I probably wouldn't have noticed it otherwise. Um, I'm not a huge fan of shifter romances, I have to admit, uh, or shifter books in general. Not my favourite. Um, this is a uh, romance book. It's called The Immortal Love Series. It's book one of The Immortal Love Series. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> we'll see what it's like. I haven't really uh, looked at it yet. For number, uh, for the third one, I picked number 53, which was a crew crime. For my third one, I picked number 53, which is a true crime book, and I had a look around on uh, Amazon uh, to see if I could find any free downloads of uh, true crime books. They're not really something that I read. Uh, whilst I occasionally watch programs on true crime or read about true crime, and you know, like I really quite like, um, one of the only series I like from BuzzFeed, uh, is the uh, unsolved one, which often looks at true crime. It's not really something I read a lot of, uh, but I found this book by a guy called Ryan Becker, and it is about a man called Robert Birdella, who uh, turned his darkest fantasies into a reality, and yeah, uh, it's part of a whole series of books um, like this, so I thought I would thought I'd read that one. Um, yeah, because it was a free download. So uh, if, you, if you're looking to get a really large cross-section of different types of books, putting in free Kindle downloads, you'll come across some really interesting titles. And uh, yeah. So the fourth one is an inspirational novel. Um, this is kind of hard because... Um, it depends on what you mean by inspirational. I think a lot of people go for um, like real life stories of people who've conquered the odds and stuff like that. Or often it is a religion based book and that's not something that I'm into. Um, and I, I'm not sure about this book that I actually picked again free download, um, but it's in the kind of genre that I prefer, which are romance novels, mainly because they're a fairly easy read. Um, this one is labelled as an inspirational romance. It is called Ask Me Again by Kara Kinsley. Again, I know nothing about this book. I just saw that it fit the genre and that I liked and it fit the category that I needed for this. Uh, yeah, so that is the fourth one. And the last one was number 42, which was read an, read an historical fiction. And the one that I picked was a book called Voyage of the Heart by Soraya, S-O-R-A-Y-A, -A, Sarara Lane. Again, this one was actually, I believe, um, one of the Samsung, like when you have a Samsung phone and you get Sam the Kindle on Samsung, um, once a month you get an option of, I think it's like four different books which you can get for free. Um, and I believe that's where this one actually came from. Um, and it's set in about 1945. I think it's set during the Second World War. So that's kind of historical. It's in history. So, um, yeah. And it, the cover looked interesting. And I think it fits the genre, the thing well. And it's a fiction. Um, I actually have a couple of books by this author. And I haven't actually read either of them. So, um, yeah. I'll be interested to see what this one is like. Uh, yeah. So that is the fifth one of these. So, uh, hopefully, um, I haven't even started reading any of them, even though I organised all my paperwork for this a few days ago. I still haven't touched any of them. Uh, so, I will leave Zelma linked below, and anybody else that she's linked who's joining in with this as well, I will include the list of 100 books. So, if you want to get involved, then do that, and make sure you go and tell Zelma that you've joined in so that she can 
watch your videos or if you're doing it on Instagram or wherever so she will follow along she is fabulously supportive of other creators in any kind of field um, and yeah so make sure you go and see her and let her know um, yeah and I will update this as and when it is appropriate for me to do so so if you want to subscribe click the button down there leave me a thumbs up if you like these kind of videos and leave me a comment down below I try to respond to all comments and I'll see you in my next video see ya